And welcome to the Black Women Channel TV with Amir Ahmad. So as you can see, we moved from Walkertown to High Point, and we're on the lake, and it's about like one mile from here or something, something like that. And and they're really good. It's really great here. Um, now we have an upstairs and a downstairs. So, yeah, basically, I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I feel like I'm happier here than I was at Walker Town. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I feel ha happier here than I was in Walker Town. I mean, I've always wanted to feel what it was to have an upstairs and a downstairs. But, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice here. I mean, there's and one thing. There's a big difference from Walker Hill and here. Well, well, for one, we didn't have neighbors in Walker now. Well, it's, we have neighbors, probably, not, because we're at the end, we, we're in a townhouse, we're at the end, so we don't have neighbors on one, one side, but we, probably, there's a, another house on the other side. So, so yeah, it's an upstairs and downstairs, it's nice here, there's a big difference because there are 
but Walker Town is, I won't say very small, but it's not that big. High Point, wow. The airport is here. And, and there's an airport here. Amtrak. Amtrak. Greyhound. Greyhound. So, so yeah. And, well, unless I was in Greensboro with my mom, or out of town, I've never seen so, so many places in my life. Unless I was out of town, or with my mom, I had never seen so many places. Well, at least not on one street. So, so we live near a mall, not much going on there, but there are a couple places that are still in business. So, so yeah, we're on the, we're on the lake, it's called Ocala Lake, and, well, it's really nice here, we have a, so, yeah, so, it's, you so, can take a boat out. you can take a boat out, and not too, not too much has changed. We're we're learning our way around. High point because this is totally different town. Same state but totally different town. It has a hundred thousand so, people. A hundred thousand people. Walker Town had nine thousand. Walker Town had nine thousand. So. Yeah, this is way bigger than Walker Town. Because the part I'm seeing is just part of High Point. From what I can see, this is just part of High Point. So, yeah. That's... High Point is big. The lake huge. The lake huge. There's... This, well, three ways to see it. There's you can just go to the lake, and then you, there are a couple of bridges you can go across, or you can see the lake on both sides. But yeah, so you, yeah, we're we're learning how things go around here. Learning our way around. So come on down. So come on down. So, so yeah, I really, I really like it here because upstairs, downstairs, we're on the lake, and well, there are a bunch of places to eat. What, what could be better? So, yeah, we found one thing out. That um, there are two there are two streets you can go on bunch of stores. It's hardly a main street. Bunch of stores, places to eat. You name it, it's there. Yeah, plenty of things. So yeah. It's nice here. You tell them that your, your school moved, so your dad had to move. My, my school also moved, so my so my dad had to move closer because Walker Town, I don't know, 30 miles, 30 away. miles away from where, from where my school was moving to. So, yeah. Now, now for one, closer, clo closer to school, near the lake, and well, half one is big, and so is my school. Huge. But yeah, I like it here in High Point. 
I'm not saying it was better than Walkertown, because Walkertown there were no no neighbors. But one one thing that it feels like I'm sleeping in later because no birds. So yeah, because in Walkertown, I I couldn't name how many mornings there were birds. Yeah, I mean. Cause if you're down there eight, eight years, that's I I got used to it, but um, but yeah, I'm like, wait, where, where's all the animals noise? But yeah, I like it here. Well, we're closer to most of the. Well, we found out there are a bunch of great places, and now we're closer to them. So, so yeah, I really enjoy it here. You could go to the lake without a car. We, we could go to the lake without a car. Right out back. And it's just literally right out back. When you leave where we leave, where we live, you make a right turn and a left turn, and you're there. Yeah. So the lake huge. So yeah. Golf course. Golf course. Camping. Camping. Fishing. Fishing. Sailboating. Sailboating. So yeah, there are plenty of things you can do in High Point. I mean, Point those eight. things I was naming off is just the lake part of it all. There's a lot more. How about the playground? There's also the playground, which is one of my favorite parts of being in High Point. I know there was a playground in Walkertown and Kernersville, but it feels like the one I'm going to now is a lot bigger. It just feels like it. I'm not saying I've been there more times, but because if you're there eight, if you're in Walkertown eight years, you can't say you've been to call like more times than you've been to Carnesville and Walkertown. But yeah, it's ne nice here. And, well, we live on the lake, there's camping, fishing, sailboating, um, basically what I'm saying is, there's a bunch, there's lots of stuff you can do in High Point. Jackpot for an eight year old, right? Jackpot for an eight year old. So. You did put in hard time in Walkertown. I would say I did put in hard time in Walkertown. But now? But now? Worth it. It's worth it. Worth it. It's, it's worth all the packing and moving and once you, once you got settled in and all your furniture is where it's going to be. I can't regret anything. So yeah, if you, if you put in that much time, time and work, well, I I would be jumping up and down. Well, not upstairs, but downstairs I would be jumping up, up and down. I mean, we're on the lake. All the moving and all the moving and everything. It was all worth it. If you get to be if you get to see this, it's all worth it. To 
probably don't don't know what we did in Walkertown, how we moved it all here, but if you did all the work we did, it is all worth it if you end up here. See ya. It just it just feels better here than it did in Walkertown for some reason. I just had this feeling that when I, when I'm asleep sometimes I don't I can't tell where I am sometimes. Sometimes I think I'm in Greensboro and sometimes I think I'm somewhere else. Then when I but something like when I sleep I I know I'm not in Walkertown. I'm either one place or another. There's not three places that I could be. But, but yeah, but it's not, no, it's not, it's not like I'm crying and saying, I miss Walker Town, I miss Walker Town. I, I miss it, but I'm not, when you're here, you don't really think about that you're missing it. When you're here on the lake, here, near almost everything you can name, or by restaurant, I mean, any restaurant you can name, there's not much else you could want. If you have an upstairs, downstairs, you're on the lake, and you're close to almost any restaurant you can name. There's not much you could. There's not much more you could. You could want. So, I want to say one thing. When I, when we first came here, just to check it all out before we even before we moved in. So the lady at the counter asked me how. How did you like it? I said, I didn't like it. I loved it. So, so swimming pool. Swimming pool. Not much more you could want if you're on the lake. You got upstairs and downstairs. Don't want to brag, but you got it going on if you got that. No brass to cut. No brass to cut. All we had to do is, well, I won't say backyard, but not exactly a yard, but there's like a back patio or. Uh, um, well, it's about an yeah. acre or two of land. That we don't acre or two of land, but. But yeah, once we get that set up in the summer, or spring, summer, somewhere in there, yeah, there's not much more you can want. So, see, yeah, I want to tell you one thing. I don't like it here. I love it here. I, I might have said that when we first checked it out, but that was before we moved in. Now that all the furniture's in, well, can't tell, can't say I would want any anything else. But yeah, so yeah. Yeah, so now that all the furniture is in, I'm loving it even more. And the reason I'm saying that is because you're on you're on the lake. What else could you want? So we're gonna take a break, we'll be right back.
case where the young generation can relate to a music that can motivate them to retire to be great. Education is the core, but well, you gotta read your book. Sit down, open it up, and take a look. Um, read everything clear, yeah, pronunciate. Sound hard words, but I thought you won't make a say. Time to learn, they never too late. You better pick up the book and keep your swag up to date. Trust in me, if knowledge is what you seek. Then you should listen close to me. Knowledge is the power, education be the key. If you want the power, then listen to me. It's all up to you and the powers that be. Go up to college and get a degree. Entertainment, hip hop, what you listen to? 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 Entertainment, hip hop. Education is STEM can get you paid in abbreviation for science, technology, engineer, math, open doors. These subjects can turn into careers and you won't be poor. Get an education and watch what it draws. School is what you need. School is the key. Study for your test. Try better than a C. Better than a B. Try to get that A. Before you know it, you'll be on your way. Free and flight and exercise. Welcome back to the Black Learning Channel TV with the Miramon. So as I said before the break, that my school moved. It's it's been we were just before in a building, but now that we now that the school moved, it's used us the stuff that we didn't exactly have before, but I really like it there. Classrooms are bigger than they were than we were before. Uh, there's a bigger cafeteria. There's a there's a band room. There, there's a, we had an auditorium, but basically it's a lot bigger than it was where we were. I mean, where we were before, you couldn't get lost. Because it was sort of like a circle, but you couldn't get lost there. Now, you can, now where we are now, you can easily get lost. I've run my way around the school, but you could just easily get lost at, in my school. In the in the building, you can easily get lost. So, yeah, they almost well, they do have everything s set up. So, I mean, the the school huge. You can easily get lost. Like. Once when I came out of band, it was, it felt like something, I knew I did, there was something that, when I was coming out of band, I didn't know exactly where I was, but I figured out exactly where I was, but yeah, easy, easy to get lost in that building, huge. L Luckily, my class is right by the door, so it's not much looking around you have to do to find it. Yeah. 
Yeah, there are parts of the school that I haven't even seen yet. Or I have seen most of the school, but there are parts I haven't seen, like the rooms for specials, which I think we do like in the evening. I'm in band, so there are plenty of rooms I haven't seen. Yeah, easy to get lost in there. What are you planning? And I play violin. So, yeah. Where's your keyboard? I, and, and I do play keyboard. It's upstairs in my room. So, yeah. And this. So, yeah, um. There's. <coughs> what? There's plenty of things. There's. So, yeah. I play violin. Um, uh, sure. oh, oh. it's right here in front of me. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I have a keyboard. It's upstairs in my room, so. And I also play violin <coughs> um, in band. The keyboard is just for whenever I want to play it. And my band instrument, I just play it in band. So. Or I practice, but I do play it in band at, at school. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, my school's pretty big. It's real easy to get lost. You j All you have to do is go down the wrong hall and you don't know where you are. Luckily, I know my way around the school or the places that I need to go, like my first class, which is my homeroom. And then my second class, I know where that is. And basic, so basically, the, I know where all my classes are and stuff. But there's a room that I haven't seen because I'm not in that particular class. One, two things I haven't seen in the school. But so far, what I have seen, huge. I mean, our other school was big, but it was just big. This, the building we're in now, I can't even begin to describe how big it is. Now, I won't say it's bigger than the world, but it is big. So, so yeah, move from one building to another new building. We're starting to get in the routine and things like where to go, at what time. Also, there's a science and math school coming up at our school it's against our sister school, QEA, where I used to go when I was in kindergarten. And, and if you're third, if you're third grade, I'm in third grade, if you're third grade to fifth grade, you get to participate in the science and math bowl. I, I'm in the science bowl. She gives a teacher gives you a packet to to study and answer the questions. So when it comes around, we can win like we did last year. Since I was in second grade last year, I got to, I got to see. Since I was in second grade last year, I got to go to see what the math ball was like, and I know what it's going to be like this year because I was there last year. Not participating, but just watching. If you were in the second grade, you probably, probably got to go last year. If you were in the second grade and you were out of school. But, in... 
So yeah, if you were there in second grade, you should, if you were at my school in second grade, you probably know, uh, you probably know with the math and science bowl. Well, the, last year was just a math bowl, but now it's math and science. So, yeah. Again, my school is huge. E really easy to get lost. It's not. It's not like it was before, where you m might go to the wrong classroom, but after a few times, you'll be there. It's like that with my new school, but like the picture the like the picture of the teacher and the name is on the door, but I'm I'm not exactly getting lost from where I am. So yeah. There are plenty of rooms I haven't seen, but so far what I have seen, big. So, so yeah, huge. So, so yeah. What's the name yeah. of your school? My school is called The Point. It's in Jamestown. And and route, route 85, right? Route 85 North. North. It's the 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 point is just what we we usually call it. The full name is the Point College Prep and Leadership Academy. One more time, it's called. It's again, it's called the Point College Prep and Leadership Academy. It used to be in High Point, but now it's in Jamestown because we switch buildings. New building. Big. So, so, yeah, the, the rooms I haven't seen, but, yeah, it's huge. Easy to get lost, really easy. And your new new school is ten miles away from your old school. And the new building is ten miles away from where we were before. So yeah, school moved. My dad had to move, or thirty miles drive from Walkertown to where it is now. Thirty miles. And we moved the same time your school. And we actually moved the same time my school did. So, so never yeah. made the long drive. Never made the long drive. So yeah, we moved right when my school was starting to move. Right when it was, right when it was moving. So your school moved, and Harambe moved, my and Black Lion Channel moved. School moved. We moved, Harambe moved, Black Lion Channel moved. This is the first broadcast. First, first Black Lion Channel block. The first Black Lion Channel broadcast here in High Point. So yeah, that's all. If this wasn't the first broadcast, you would already know about the new place. But yeah, this is the first first broadcast in our new location, High Point, North Carolina. So yeah. So school moved, we moved, Harambe moved, Black Lion Channel moved. So yeah, this is the first Black Lion Channel live broadcast. That's we took here. off a few weeks. Took off a few weeks, but we're back. We're we're back in a new location. So yeah. We so yeah we're back. Took off a couple weeks but we are back. I hope you miss me. I am back. 
Amiramon is back in the house. So, so yeah, this is the first broadcast in the new new location or in High Point. Since we've been on Walker Town, the first broadcast since we've been on Walker Town. Out of Walker Town. Or out of Walker Town, actually. But, but yeah, Mus. So, yeah, we moved right where my school moved. A little bit before that, but very close. You know, we moved in on Saturday. Moved the in on. Monday. Moved in on Saturday, the 6th. And it looks like it moved Monday, so not much, not too much of a difference. But, you know, we moved right when my school moved. So close, right when my school moved. We, we had to move everything. And you saw your dad? So, I saw my dad lift, lift boxes, not for the first time ever, but the first time where I can remember. Because first, first time I saw that, I was two months old. Now, if you want to ask me, can I tell the story? Not much I can say there. If you want to know about when we moved from a north to down south in Walkertown, not much I can tell you. But if you're wondering from Walkertown to High Point, that's a story I can tell you about. That is one story I can tell you about. So, yeah. So, yeah. When we moved from up north to Walkertown, not much I can tell you there. Not much I can tell you. Other than the stories that I've heard the, that I was with, with my mom and I was saying, truck, that's all, that's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you. All I can tell you is stories that I've heard. Other than that, you're out of luck. Because that's, other than that, nothing I can tell you. But, so, we'll take a break, we'll be right back. Zero, zero, 
to the Black Fun Child TV with the Miramar. So before the break I was talking about that we move right right when my school moved. So so yeah. Um also in school we've been studying the Black Panthers and and we had to Write a letter to the co-founder Bobby Seale, and and my letter was I was asking what was the past I've heard what was the past like and I've heard stories but I probably really get the wrong, wrong picture in my head. But I'm I'm probably thinking of how I see things now just like like I'm thinking of like when people are telling me about their house I'm thinking that I'm thinking about the house that I with the house or apartment or whatever I live in now and I'm not thinking about what what the house would look like if it was be before I was even around or where it was. So, yeah, I was saying that I've heard stories and I've seen movies, but some of them are Hollywood. So on, some of them are like actors, Hollywood, and yeah, and still some of them. I'm just talk when me and my dad are just talking about it. I get I'm thinking of something like like where we where we lived in Walgertown. I'm thinking of something totally different from what I hear I'm imagining, but but yeah. I don't really think I get the the exact picture in my head because I'm thinking, okay, I'm thinking, okay, so this is the house I'm imagining in my head and how I'm imagining it, even though I have no idea what it looks like or anything. I still use stories, but I still, when I hear things, I try to imagine what that would be like. Even when I'm reading, I'm thinking something, even though I'm looking at the cover of the book, how it was drawn and how they, like how it was drawn on the cover of the book, I'm imagining something in, like real life in my head. But... Yeah, so everyone in my, in my class, in our class, are 
our classes are split up. There are two different classes. It's a math and science class, which is my second, or actually my first class of the, I come in my homework first, but my first class is my math and science. Yeah, our classes are split up, so some people go to the math and science class first. Some people go, some people stay in the home, stay in the home room, but, but yeah.